So right here we have the Pass the Pigs game. This is a super fun game. We had one copy of this game and we lost the pigs because the kids started playing with them. And uh, so we needed to get a new version of it. So we got this one and uh, this is such a fun game. So these are your two little pigs right here. You'll notice that one of them has a little dot on it Oop, right there. And uh, that just denotes, we'll get to that in just a minute. You do have this nice little uh, holder right here for your pad to keep scores on and your pencil right there. As you can see, we played the other day, which was super fun. And you know, we hadn't played this game in a long time, but it's a great travel game. We travel a lot going on road trips. And like, once you know the rules, all you really need is the pigs. Because the way this, of course I drop it. <laughs> all you need are the pigs and like dice. Let me bring you guys on down. You just roll it. And then depending on how the pigs land, which are all in the instructions right here, uh, very easily laid out with pictures and whatnot, depending on how the pigs land, that's how you score points. So this right here, I'd get five points because this one's on its back. If uh, This is called a Razorback. This one's called a Trotter. Again, five points. Now, if you get two dots, you get one point. Or if you get two with no dots, you get one point. But... If you get one with a dot and one without the dot, you lose all your points for that turn and it goes on to the next person. So the way this works is you roll the pigs, you get your points, and then you decide if you want to go again and add to the points that you already got. But you run the chance of getting this and losing all your points. So you have to kind of know when to stop. There are a couple of other point options, I guess, that you can get. Double Razorback, 20 points for that. I think Double Trotter is another one, if I'm not mistaken. There's one called a Snouter, where it's like resting on its snout. And then there's another one called a something or another, where it's on its ear, or is it this way? It's, no, it's this way. It's on its ear and its snout. Uh, I can't remember the exact point values, but they're all right here in the instructions. Now, if you are rolling and they happen to be touching each other, then you lose all the points that you've had for the entire game. And then there's one where, let's see, a piggyback. That's right. If you get a piggy, this would be like super hard to do. But if one is standing on top of the other, then you're out of the game from that point on. So super fun game. Great for kids because they have to learn some math if they're doing simple additions. Great for all ages. We played it all the way down from a five-year-old all the way up to, I guess, me. I'm 40-something years old. We'll leave it at that. But uh, super fun. Very fast game, too, because the idea is uh, you just get to uh, 100 points. First person to 100 points wins. But if you want to, uh, you can make it to you know whatever point value you want, depending on how long of a game you want to play. So... This nice little case that it comes in, you can fit that right in the pocket, the travel bag, the briefcase, whatever, and you are good to go. So y'all definitely go and grab y'all this past the Pigs game if y'all are looking for a fun game where it's basically just like rolling dice, except you're using pigs. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, and dad out.